Okay, we just saw the bridge video, and we saw the bucking of that bridge, torsion, the twisting of that bridge. It's described by a second order linear differential equation. This is part, this is actually part of the real equation. We're going to simplify it. We're going to talk about it simplified first. This equation does not have resistance, but it also does not have a forcing function. But we'll still see oscillation in this equation. And indeed, when we throw in friction and we throw in forcing functions, the oscillations still say, still stay there. Um, the details get more complicated, but the basics stay the same. This is torsion, or the angle. This is torque. Torque equals the restoring force. Restoring force being like a spring constant. Here's our linear side. If we have a mass on a spring, we can write down this equation for this simple mass on a spring example. That's why we always start harmonic oscillators with um, a mass on a spring, because it's easy for us to understand, although it relates to the failure of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Um, divide through by mass. And we come up with this equation. And we're going to call the square root of k over m omega. We'll see why in just a second. This equation here can be written as the product of two other equations. This the product of two first order equations. That is how that is, this is one of the techniques of separating out, taking a second order equation, making it into two simpler equations. Now, if either this or this equation, if if either one of these two are true, then this is true. Okay? We can see it just by foiling. Um, remembering that the derivative with respect of time of negative i omega x is going to be negative i omega x dot. This the derivative of a constant times a function is just a constant times the derivative of the function. Basic calculus. That's why this works. That's why we can make two um, first order equations. Now, you know the solutions to these first order equations. For the first one, x equals any constant times e to the negative i omega t. And for the second one, x equals some other constant, um, e to the positive i omega t. And we can combine them. x total, I'll call it, a, um, e to the negative i omega t, plus b, e to the positive i omega t. Just a refresher, remember that this is combinations of sines and cosines. That's why x has an oscillating behavior. With phase angles and amplitudes, it's just oscillating. It's just a sine wave. So um, we'll do a little plot. Uh, X might, the value might look like this. The total is just an oscillator. Oscillates back and forth. We get it. Key point in our math. If either, either one of these two equations is zero, it'll make the total equation zero. 
it's like the zero product theorem when you're finding roots of polynomials in your basic algebra. But it gives us the oscillating behavior. This equation gives us the oscillating behavior. Like what happened to the Tacoma Narrows Bridge and the greatest engineering failure in history.